Hold it right there. Heading to the desert, are we? I would think twice if I were you. Huh? Who are you? That doesn't matter. All you need to know is that someone wishes to inform you that it's not too late to turn back. Ah, uh, you must be Sinu. I've heard a lot about you. You've got quite a reputation. But this time you're in over your head. Unless you turn around right now, I'm afraid that even you won't return unscathed. And as for you two, why bother sticking your noses in trouble that doesn't even concern you, hmm? That's right! We won't just sit back and do nothing! Ha! <laughs> Have you really thought it through? You're not just doing this for recognition, are you, Sino? My employer said that he's willing to compromise as long as you just walk away. He could, for example, reduce the amount of canned knowledge on the market. I'm sure that would help your investigation appear to be successful enough. On top of that, he's willing to give you a cut of the profit. So you see, you get both Mora and a boost to your reputation. I can't think of a reason why you would pass that up. Is that so? Well, I can't think of a reason why I'd accept. I've heard enough. Get out of my way. Sorry, no can do. We're getting paid to ensure you disappear. Since you won't turn back willingly, then we're gonna have to make you go back. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to run. Surrender. Your sins weigh upon your soul. You stand condemned. Your penance is due. Guilty. Regret. Ugh. This doesn't change anything. You're in over your head, Sino. There will be others coming for you. You'll regret it. Let's get out of here. <sighs> no need. Even if we apprehend them, there'll be little information to gain. Besides, it might also be a trap. I apologize for bringing you into this dangerous mess. Just being associated with me will inevitably cause you to become targets as well. You should be careful from now on. Sleep with one eye open. Wait, hold on! There's no way anyone could sleep without closing their eyes? Uh, right? You'd be surprised. Anyway, just be careful. Mercenaries are never quick to forget. In their line of work, even a single failure is bad for reputation. They may even stay hidden in some dark corner for a very long time. Waiting. For the right moment to ambush you. They'll do anything to keep their prestige intact. Yes. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was carrying out a mission with one of my superiors. I didn't have much experience at the time. And I let my guard down after we had closed the case. We ended up being attacked by the remainder of the mercenaries. My superior was injured while protecting me, and we struggled to gain control of the situation. <sighs> I've become more vigilant ever since, staying alert even while I sleep. Ooh, who could have seen that coming? Was he okay? He survived with a fractured wrist. It took two months for him to recover, but luckily, 
there weren't any further complications. Last year, he transferred to an administrative role for personal reasons, and no longer participates in live missions. His name is Taj Radkani, a very well-respected mantra. You'll have the chance to meet him someday. Anyway, our mission will be dangerous. I'm already used to such grueling conditions, but I don't want to see you two get hurt. Don't worry, I'm almost stay alert. We'll see danger coming a mile away! Good. Don't worry. It won't be long till we're at the bottom of this. And once this is all over, I'll sweep away any other hidden dangers. We still have a long way to go, so you'll need to hang in there for a while longer. This is not a good place to rest anyway. Uh, okay, but don't you feel hot too, Sino? Of course, but I'm accustomed to these conditions. Care to share any tips? Paimon's about to melt away. Just try to stay focused. Use your willpower to support your mind. The moment you start to give in is when you'll feel more tired. Take one step after another. Don't let your mind perceive your body's limitations. We must get somewhere safe before we can relax. Uh, okay, if you say so. But where would be a more safe place to rest? Paimon thinks this is a perfectly safe place to stop. Just look around, it's just sand and desert. There aren't any monsters for miles around. Whoa! Where did these scorpions come from? Watch out. Something's not right about them. Gotcha. Well, Paimon really didn't expect to see those here. Those weren't just normal scorpions. See? There are marked numbers on their pincers. They were raised by someone. Someone doesn't want us to show up at the auction. These scorpions were sent to keep us away. We are surrounded by desert as far as the eye can see. If we were killed out here, nobody would ever know. This place is super dangerous. Good thing we didn't let our guard down. Something's not right. There are no roads in the desert, so how could they know where we are? Stay still. Here's the answer. It must have planted this on you. Huh? What is it? A miniature tracking device made by the Kasharwar. They can use this to discern your approximate location. But this device wasn't licensed for mass production. <laughs> Where did they get it? Could someone from the Kasharwar also be involved? Hmm. <laughs> but that doesn't seem right. Whoa! I might never knew that kind of thing even existed! Why would it be on him? They probably planted it on the Traveler during our fight with the mercenaries earlier. It was a frantic fight. It's only natural you didn't notice the device. <sighs> well, good thing you were able to find it, Sino. Now let's get rid of it. Hmm. No. Hold on to it for now. 
and might still be useful for us. Let's keep heading to the auction. It would be dangerous to linger here any longer. Something. We didn't waste any time getting here after we defeated those mercenaries. I shouldn't have been able to give any warning of our arrival. But even so, they still knew we were coming. Someone here must have been watching the tracker, and warned everyone to clear out. Aw, what should we do now? We searched the area. They couldn't have moved all the knowledge capsules so quickly. There might still be something left for us to find. All right, let's take a good look around the area. Did you find anything? No, nothing in particular. It's possible there weren't many knowledge capsules containing info about the Court of Desolation, so they carried those off. But don't worry, I have another idea. You two start heading back the way we came. I will remain hidden here. Come back and meet me here after some time has passed. I'm sure something will come up by then. They packed up in a hurry and didn't have time to carry off all their goods. They won't just leave them here. Once they think we've left the premises, they'll be back to pick up their belongings. We just need to make sure the tracker goes far enough from here to make them assume that it's safe to come back. Oh, Paimon gets it! We'll lure them out because they'll think we've left! Okay, we'll start heading away and leave this place to you. Yes, and don't worry. If they dare to return, I'll make sure they stay. There's no time to lose. Leave as soon as you're ready. Before we go back to find Sino. Hmm. It's probably about time for us to head back to the auction. Let's go. 
Well, maybe Sino's finally found some leads. So you're the bad guy behind all this, aren't ya? All right, kill time on everything you know! I didn't act immediately when he showed up. Rather, I laid low and observed for a while instead. He is not the primary instigator, but he is most likely one of the more important dealers here. Am I right? Yes, impressive. You certainly live up to your reputation, Sino. If I had any idea you were still around, I wouldn't have gotten so greedy. Huh? Greedy? What do you mean by that? Once everyone knew you were coming, all the canned knowledge dealers abandoned their goods and fled at once. Obviously, there wasn't time to pack up everything. Since all the goods were just left here unsupervised, I thought I'd use the opportunity to come back and take what I could. You know, free merchandise is good business, but... I suppose there's no use explaining it now. You must know who's manufacturing and selling the canned knowledge, correct? Will you tell us willingly? Or do I need to make you talk? No, no. I'll talk. But before that, perhaps we can take the conversation elsewhere? If we stay here, chances are that someone will see me with you. That would put both me and my family in danger. All right. Where do you suggest we go? How about my home in Aru Village? It should be safe there. Fine. Let's head out. You can throw away the tracker now, Traveler. Listen, buddy, you better not try to trick us! Come on now. Do you really think I'd try to pull anything under Sino's watch? Seriously, what can I even do? Dad, you're back. Oh. We have guests? Uh, hi there. This is my daughter, Seeming. She can be a little shy of strangers. Why don't you run along now, dear? Dad needs to talk with our guests. Oh, okay. Everyone knows Sino in our business, but let me ask, who are you two? Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! To be honest, I really didn't expect to see Sino, the lone operator, working with any partners. When I saw the tracker start moving away, I assumed you had decided to just go back empty-handed. But even though you caught me, I'd still urge you to stop while you still can. You should abandon this investigation. Why is that? Everything, from the manufacturing of canned knowledge, to the sales and even splitting the profits. Every step of the process involves dozens, if not hundreds of people. Massive profits have brought everyone together in this business. Everyone will try their best to defend this industry that we've worked to build. It will be a long and difficult fight, even for you, Sino. And even if you manage to win in the end, no one will thank you. If anything, you yourself might even feel remorse. Why are you so bent on putting us out of business? Everyone has their own reasons for what they do. I don't have to explain mine. Ah. <sighs> 
Here's some tea, Dad. And for the guests, too. Uh, right. I forgot to offer tea to our guests. <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. And, uh, I should tell you that our tea tastes kind of bitter, but I put some sugar in to make it a little tastier. That's my girl. Do we still have any sugar left? If not, I'll buy some more next time. Yes, we do. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna go have a rest now. Didn't you say that everyone's in it for the massive profits? That sure doesn't seem to be the case for you. <clears throat> Actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I was hoping to ask you for a favor. My daughter was born with a chronic disease, so she has a relatively weak heart and lungs. Even slightly strenuous exercise can cause her to faint and prove to be a life-threatening risk. That's why she never really had any friends to play with, and why she locks herself up in her room most of the time. She has to take lots of medicine, and it doesn't come cheap. As for me, I was just an average merchant. I would wake up early and travel all around to make a profit. But the mora was still nowhere near enough. I could only watch my daughter's health deteriorate day by day. Until one day, someone reached out and showed me a way to really make a profit. Selling canned knowledge. That's right. With all the mora I made, I could finally afford medical treatment for my daughter. Nothing made me happier than seeing her get better. There are many others like me. Smuggling canned knowledge might seem like an unforgivable crime to you, but to us, it's a means of survival. I wanted to tell you all this so that maybe you could understand and change your mind. Please, stay out of this, Sino. Give us a way to survive. Oh no. That means that if we prevent the sale of canned knowledge, his daughter will... <laughs> I must get to the truth. I can find someone to help treat your child, but I cannot turn a blind eye to the smuggling. These are two completely different issues. <sighs> I somehow knew you would say that. But having your word to help my daughter is enough for me. Since you insist on continuing the investigation, you should have a look around the back of my home. You'll find some goods I received just recently. I think everything will become clear to you once you see them. Whoa! Look at all of this! Yes. All neatly packed away and organized in boxes. To think that this is only one dealer's worth. Small producers could impossibly support such a large quantity of goods. Hmm. Could the Academia have a hand in this? But such a volume of goods wouldn't be able to slip through inspection. Huh? Look! These seem different from the other knowledge capsules we've seen. Maybe they contain knowledge about the Court of Desolation! Yes, that would make sense. Wait, what's this? Yes. It's a Matra seal. Indicating that the goods have passed Matra inspection. I started to suspect that someone in the Academia might be involved when I found the tracker earlier. But how they could ship so much canned knowledge out of the Academia was still a mystery. The pieces have now all fallen into place. With this Matra seal, goods can leave the Academia without undergoing a second inspection. <laughs> No wonder they don't want me to investigate. It turns out that a mantra is behind this. Even I find it hard to believe. Could I ask you for a favor, Traveler? Since all this canned knowledge came from the Academia, then it's highly likely that the knowledge regarding the Court of Desolation originated from research files stored within the Academia. If we can enter the repository, we can find out who accessed these files. But, 
considering my current status. If I suddenly show up at the Academia now, it will only draw unnecessary attention. You'll need to be the one who checks the records. I'll write a letter to Nabil, and he'll take you there. Sure thing! Leave it to us! I'll also keep working here in the meantime. Although our leads are all currently pointing to someone within the Academia, it's obvious that they also have power outside of it. We can get more information on other dealers from Bahari. I'll stay here and make some preparations. You can come find me any time if you uncover more info. If you start sniffing around the Academia, it won't be long before people catch on to you. And once word gets out, they'll soon be after my daughter and I. Don't worry. I'll find them before things escalate that far. But if you still feel uneasy, then why don't you tell me about anyone else you know who was involved? The more information I have, the safer you will be. <sighs> Alright.